And welcome. Today we're going to learn how to make a, uh, a contact sheet in Adobe Photoshop. You can make contact sheets pretty easily in Microsoft Windows, but Photoshop allows you to adjust some features that are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so to make a contact sheet, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to File, then you need to go to Automate, and then Create Contact Sheet. Alright, this window is going to pop up for you, and the first thing you need to do is choose what folder you want to create your contact sheet from. Um, I usually just sort all my images in the one folder, so it's pretty easy for me. I'm just going to go down to my photograph folder, and I have um, this random file here, folder here that has my photographs from Deep Creek Lake. I'm going to hit OK. So you can choose to include, if you have subfolders, you can choose to include all the subfolders by just clicking this little checkbox. Um, I don't have any subfolders, but if I did, maybe I wanted to include them. Um, over here are just some dimensions of your paper. My paper is 8.5 by 11. And you can choose the resolution of, of how many pixels per inch you want to print your um, contact sheet at. If it's a contact sheet, you may want to choose to print it at 75 or 72 DPI. Save yourself a little bit of ink, but you know, 300 is fine for me. Um, I'm going to put mine in RGB color, so your color space. Um, flatten images to flatten layers. I just leave that checked. Um, if you choose not to flatten layers, each individual image will be a, um, on a separate layer. So I don't play fussing with that, so I'm just going to leave it or leave that as flattened. For thumbnails, you can choose which direction you want your thumbnails to go first, across or down. I find it easier for my thumbnails to go across first, like so, and then that, um, and then down. It, it's like reading a book, it's just a little bit simpler. And then columns and rows, I usually do about five columns and seven rows. Um, you can put as many as you want on your contact sheet. You'll see my contact sheet up here change size. If you wanted 15 columns and you know maybe 25 rows, you can do that. And you can see my contact sheets just a whole bunch of really little tiny images, 78 images per page. It's ridiculous. You'll never be able to see them. So I usually do um, five by seven. And you can choose to rotate your images for best fit if you want to, which basically means your landscapes are going to be facing sideways. But you get more image, you get um, a larger picture. And then you can use the file name as the caption if you want to, which I usually do. It's easier to use the file name as the caption, and um, you can choose the font and font size. But if you have a file name as the caption, you get to see the actual file name under each image. So when you're looking through your images in the contact sheets, it's easier to go back to your computer and find the exact image you want. Because sometimes if you shoot photographs, you might shoot like five photographs that are only a little bit different. So actually having the um, the names on them is pretty nice. So Adobe Photoshop is going to do its thing. I don't know exactly how many images I have in my folder. There were just a couple of images shot with a cheap... Um, you know, cool pics or Canon power shot, cheapo camera. But I bet I have about 50 of them. Photoshop's just running this batch file, taking the file, opening it, sh uh, shrinking it down, changing the resolution, and, th and then Photoshop's going to dump it into a blank canvas. And we'll just wait until it finishes. Okay, uh, Adobe has finished creating my contact sheets, and you can see them here. Um, as you can see, they are only one layer, so if I clicked on this layer, I can move the images around as a whole. If I had chosen to not flatten my images or flatten my layers, I would have like, you know, I don't know, what, five, 
eight eight layers for each contact sheet, or for this one, and like, what is that called? 30, 35 layers for uh, this contact sheet back here. And of course, okay. <laughs> I would have 35 layers for this contact sheet. Um, one layer for each image, but I flattened them, so uh, they're just one flat layer, which is nice. And you can zoom in and zoom out if you choose to for each contact sheet. And you see that part of the file name actually ended up on the um, on the contact sheet. Not uh, not all the um, uh, not the entire file name could fit, so they just put part of it on there. Um, that's neither here nor there. It's not a big deal. I tend to save my contact sheets and then print them. I mean, to save a file in Adobe, all you gotta do is Control Shift S, Control Shift S, and save it to wherever you want to save it. And then I print my contact sheets, Control P. It's gonna print it, and you get a little preview of what it's gonna print right here. I accidentally shifted my contact sheet over um, by accident. I gotta shift it back. There we go. So that's how you make contact sheets. Pretty easy.